All right, so I finally did it. I found the local coin shop down here in Miami. And it was real close um, to a place I pass all the time. It just never said coin shop. I Googled it and I found it. Okay, and today I'm just going to pretty much let you guys know my experience going there, um, talking to the people, interacting with them, seeing what they have, their prices, what I liked about it, and what I don't like about it. Welcome to another video of Urban Lifestyle, where our goal is to help you guys create a better life by creating better health and better wealth. And you guys can also help out by leaving a subscribe, leaving a thumbs up, and comment on this video. Also, you guys can check out my social media platforms if you guys want to follow me there as well. Let's get to the video. I'm working for work, babe. So this is not gonna be a long video. I'm gonna zoom by the story real quick. So I went there. They have a lot of um, silver. They have a little bit of gold too, but not as much as silver as they have. But I talked to them, they actually have their gold, but they stored their gold in the bank. I'll have to actually pre-order it right then and there, and he'll have to go get it for me. So a lot of people tells me, hey, I should actually buy at my local coin dealer. And to be honest with you, I doubt I'm gonna go back there again to buy any silver coins or anything silver at all, because if we're thinking that Atmex or the online dealers, they're actually pricey. No, you get the best deals online. The main benefit of actually going to a local coin shop and buy your silver there instead of going online is because if you go online, it leads a paper trail. Okay, if you ever get sued, they can go through your accounts and actually check up in all your transactions that your account has. If it sees, oh, $100 here, Atmex, $200 here, Atmex, $300 here, Jane Bullion, $400, Providence Metal, $1,000, Atmex, like how I have on my account, they would be like, hey, this guy has some assets and we're suing him. He may not have it paper-wise, but he do have assets to actually accommodate for what we're suing him for. So that's pretty much a good reason, but of course, I do live a clean life, not saying that I can never get sued if people sue for anything nowadays. But I went to the coin shop and I pretty much asked how much are their coins going for? Okay, now spot price is actually 16. Atmex and other online dealers, they actually sell their silvers for like about a good, in between 18, 17, if you're lucky. When I went to the coin shop, they sold me each of these for $20. Now they were nice, I actually built a relationship with them, got the guy's name, real cool guy. They gave me this tube here for free. I actually ran out of space in my old tube coin, so I needed another one anyways. They didn't have no bars. I honestly went there that to see if I could get more bars so I could fill my bar um, tube up, but it didn't. And I told them, hey, I had a gold coin that I wanted to get a capsule for, and they gave me these um, sizes saying that this one might be too small. This one might be the best size, but it's gonna wiggle around and I tried not to. So she gave me a couple of them just to try out. So they gave me some stuff for free. So pretty much everything here, except for this one, I think, they actually charge 20 bucks for each of these coins, which is about $3 over the spot price. As you can see, I got two buffaloes here. I got this one right here. And here's the other one, which is 2016. Right there. I got an Alaska 1984 silver anniversary right here. I got a Liberty Bell. And this beauty right here. So as far as that go, they gave me everything on this side for free. This is what I actually paid for. So we're looking at $100 flat that I actually paid for all this, which I don't believe is that bad, but I probably could have got a better deal going online. Now, I didn't have the cash on me, and they did hit me with a 3% bump up if I did it on the card, and there was no ATM due to the fact that I was at work at the time, so I couldn't waste any more time. So I actually just brought it. I paid the 3%. I just wanted to check it out, see what they have, and place an order and you know the benefits that I found from it is I got it right then and there okay that was a huge benefit I was able to get free stuff out of it as well that's another benefit now the downside is they charge a lot and I didn't even get to the gold so I told them hey 
I'm collecting Graham Gold that's, that are in assay cards. Can you give me the price? He said, yeah, I can give it to you. He went into a room. He came out with a piece of paper, which he did not let me see, by the way. I found out kind of fishy. I didn't see it then, but when I replayed the image in my head, I was like, oh, I see why. Because he called somebody. He asked them for the price. And then he's like, hey, I want to make a price too. And he wrote down the actual price that he's going to get them for. And he told me the price that he's going to sell them to me with his profit. So no, I asked him, hey, can I get the seat? Can I see the paper? Can I hold on to the paper? And he used a good excuse. Well, the price is going to change anyway. These are today's prices. And then turn it up and threw it in the garbage. So that's, now, like I said, looking back at it, I'm like, oh, I see what he did there. He doesn't have the actual price that he gave me. He has the price that he can buy them for and he wants to make a profit for. So most likely what he'll probably do is just buy them online and then sell them to me and make a profit. So I'm definitely not buying gold from them. But he told me that um, the only thing I can remember is the Pamp Suisse was like about $64 when I could get them for a good, I think I'd be buying mines for about 50. So I, I'll, I'll stick with that mix on that. If I do go there, it's just gonna be for the um, silver. I wanna go there to build a relationship. Um, I know one thing about myself is once I build a relationship with you, I can talk you into giving me a great deal, okay? And you never know, if I go up there with a good $500, he might lower it down. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys posted on that. But thank you guys for watching another video of Urban Lifestyle. Hopefully you guys got some knowledge from this video. Have a good one. That's why I work.